Welcome to part 2, explaining cat coat colour genetics. This is where things get more interesting. Cats have three alleles for black coat, the dominant allele produces black fur, then the two recessive alleles produce chocolate and cinnamon coat colours. These exist in a dominance hierarchy, which goes black, chocolate, brown. So if a cat had one copy of the black gene, the coat would be black. If the cat had one chocolate and one cinnamon allele, the coat would be chocolate. A cinnamon coloured cat would be homozygous recessive. Another gene that affects coat colour is the dilute gene. When cats are homozygous for this recessive allele, the cat will have a paler coat colour. Black becomes grey, chocolate becomes lilac, and cinnamon becomes fawn. Now, the agouti gene in cats determines if the coat is a solid colour. The dominant allele produces ticking or banding. If a cat is agouti, then the tabby gene comes into play. The dominant allele causes the mackerel or stripe pattern, then the recessive alleles produce the classic spotted tabby or the ticked coat. Like the black coat alleles, these also have a dominance hierarchy which goes mackerel, classic, ticked. The dominant white gene in cats demonstrates epistasis, where one gene changes the expression of another. When present, the dominant allele masks the effects of a gene, such as the black gene, and changes the coat colour to white. Now cats can also have white spots and that's due to the piebald gene. This shows incomplete dominance. Heterozygotes for this gene tend to have less than 50% white fur, whereas homozygous dominant cats tend to be mostly white, like my cat Marzipan. Interestingly, the piebald gene can give cats one giant white spot, so they're entirely white. So there's two genes that can make a cat white, but you only have to look at their eye colour to distinguish their genotypes. A cat with the piebald allele will have green or yellow eyes, whereas a cat with the dominant white allele will have blue or orange eyes. The gene for orange coat colour is another example of epistasis. When present, the dominant orange allele will mask other genes. This is where the genetics gets more confusing. So the orange gene is sex-linked because it's found on the X chromosome. As you probably know, females have two X chromosomes, whereas males have an X and a Y. The Y chromosome is much smaller so has fewer genes on it. That means that males will be hemizygous for a number of genes, meaning they'll only have one copy. Whatever allele is present on the X chromosome is what will be expressed. Therefore, males will either have the genotype uppercase O and be orange, or lowercase O and be black. Female cats, on the other hand, can be homozygous dominant and be orange, homozygous recessive and be black, or heterozygous and be a mix of black and orange, also known as a tortoise shell. So this explains why pretty much all torties are female. A male cat can be a tortoise shell if they inherit an extra X chromosome, so XXY. In humans, this is known as Kleinfelter syndrome. Most patients live normal and healthy lives, but it does cause infertility. Thank you.